the end of the holiday season comes the time for students to head back to class. Some might say, unfortunately, for their second semester. For everyone, though, teachers and staff, it was a learn-on-the-fly experience and one they plan to build on. Fox 55's Caleb Saylor joins us live. Caleb, what did Fort Wayne and East Island leaders you spoke with expect this coming semester? Well, Chris, they expect a lot of what they were doing in the first semester to continue into the second semester. And really, the COVID-19 pandemic has been a learning experience for everyone, for parents having to figure out how to work from home to students having to figure out how to learn from home. And some of the things will change. Just a couple of things will change in both East Allen County Schools and Fort Wayne Community Schools based off those first semester experiences and they're hoping like you said that will improve the second semester learning experience for students please continue to be supportive of us during the second semester that's the message east allen and fort wayne community schools is spreading as the second half of the school year kicks off schools are still battling the spread of covid 19 and eacs superintendent marilyn hissong says implementing masks social distancing and hand washing procedures for students and staff has helped them so far we have not had a huge knock on wood. We have not had a huge outbreak of students, you know, in, in across the district, and we're very grateful for that. Those type of procedures will stay in place for East Allen, but what's going to be new for the district is they will make the permanent change to a 10 day quarantine versus 14 days, which is supported by the Allen County Health Department. We did do that for about the last two and a half weeks of the fall semester and we had a high degree of success. We did not have any students or staff come back off of quarantine and actually test positive. Well, what some families and students will notice are more elementary kids back at school. EACS saw a 3% decrease in virtual learning for K through six students, and that number in Fort Wayne Community Schools was 5%. Krista Stockman with FWCS believes such a decrease is due to families realizing how much work teachers have to put into students at that age. Some of the older students may be able to work independently, but those younger students really need someone with them working with them all day long. And for a lot of parents, that's just not feasible. Stockman says teachers in FWCS learn that they have to battle the TV and other websites for the attentions of students who are e-learning. So the lessons will look different to make sure that's improved. And both districts are asking parents to make sure that things get better. Continue being flexible with your child's school. We just have to continue working together and our students are in good hands as long as we keep working together. Fort Wayne Community School students went back to class today, and EAS students will be waking up to head back to class tomorrow. And for those families who are sending their kids back to school, Superintendent Hissong has a reminder for you that you can hear at 1030. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, Caleb Saylor, Fox 55 News.